visualization. Then I will cover exactly which types of mental training and visualization work best across all domains, meaning for music learning, mathematics, solving puzzles, motor learning, sports performance, et cetera, et cetera, to really allow you a template in which you can plug in or designate what you're going to do each day for a brief period of time in order to accelerate your learning in whatever you choose. And then I'm going to go into a bit of what happens in the brains of different types of people. Uh, these different types of people that I'm referring to are people who have more or less of a natural ability to imagine things and visualize them. Because it turns out that we vary tremendously from one individual to the next in terms of our ability to mentally visualize and imagine things and our ability to get better at that over time. And the good news is anyone can get better at mental training and visualization in ways that can serve them well. I'll also briefly touch on the fact that certain people, in particular people on the autism spectrum, as well as people with synesthesia,